Hi everybody, Scott Vince here, author of the book Principles of Fortune. And here are the 15 reasons companies fail at creating a winning culture. Actually in the book there's 16. Uh, here's a list of reasons why companies fail and, and try and ultimately fail at establishing a winning culture. When referring to core values, principles, and guiding, and guiding principles, I mean the same thing. One, fail to, imp, fail to get input from everyone in the company. Two, put them on the wall so they look good, like this, uh, before they are practiced and understood by the employees. Fail to show how people's personal values fit into and align with the company's values. They don't reward, recognize, hire, or fire by their company's values. Skill first, rather than character and culture fit first hiring policy. Six, fail to call out examples of practicing, of people actually practicing the company's guiding principles or AKA core values. Seven, they have good ideas but not the freedom to take risks, which means they're bad at executing on ideas or even attempting to. Eight, companies fail to encourage and provide resources for employees and managers to have gatherings, to ask questions, how, how they can practice their company values better. Seven, fail to be transparent at what they're doing as a company. When the leadership isn't open and transparent, neither are the troops. It's hard uh, to work as a team or a unit if everyone has their own private agenda of which they're not sharing. 10, fail to help each other and each and every employee see how they fit into the bigger picture, mission and objectives of the company. 11, don't base decisions on values and principles first, but rather let profit motive triumph, trump any principle, any time. 12, have policies that are in conflict with a principle that the company has and they have no desire to change the policy even though it conflicts with a company's value or principle. Uh, 13. Don't use principles to question why they do what they do or don't do. 12. Have a top-down have a top-down mentality. Nothing in the values empowers employees to question management or policies or practices. 15. Don't spend enough time or resources learning how to practice the principles or core values for an organization. And the bonus 116, let profit motive overrule a principle or value repeatedly. This one is listed twice because it's the biggest offender of bad culture. Anyway, uh, that's a little snip snippet from the book, Principles of Fortune. I wrote it to help the average, everyday, ordinary entrepreneur uh, that didn't go to an Ivy League and that doesn't have Ivy League resources uh, to uh, grow their business, has tons of actionable items, and uh, that is why the 15 reasons why companies are actually 16 reasons why companies fail at creating a winning culture. Uh, my book kind of shares the story of how we created a winning culture and grew a uh, real truck from the basement to well over 100 million e-commerce sales. And uh, if you want to copy of the book, it's available worldwide, everywhere online, and we're working on stores now. Uh, and until next time, smile.